We are a collective of uh, cinematographers, researchers, artists and uh, our name is Caravan Project and we em embarked on a journey in 2011 in order to trace uh, untold human stories. So we rode on a caravan vehicle and we travelled all over Greece and uh, through documentary filmmaking and photography mostly we started documenting these untold stories and our aim was to to save and to disseminate stories that can motivate and that can inspire people and mostly that can um, highlight another aspect of uh, our uh, crisis-stricken country uh, we wanted to find the uh, stories of people who have their own values, who, um, who are trying to change uh, their lives, who are trying to change the, the world within uh, their communities, and uh, people who still know how to love and uh, who are sincere and who are somehow revolutionary, in creative terms, of course. This project is your answer to the crisis? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes, we, we, uh, we needed to think a way to, to react in what was happening in our country. And uh, we thought that the best way to, uh, to act as an, as, uh, as an art, as artists, uh, as, uh, um, as people that are interested in what's happening around them, is to go to go out there and collect stories and uh, uh, set light, as Alexander said, to people that they um, that through their life, uh, through their actions, can inspire and motivate others to uh, to go out in the, in the world and uh, express what they feel and uh, uh, and somehow. Um, take up action by themselves. So we, 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 we wanted to, to document stories. We thought that sharing stories is a, a revolutionary practice. You know? And that's why after we documented some stories, then we started distributing them and share, share the stories uh, to schools, universities, prisons. Mm -hmm. And every time it was a, a, a social experiment, what was happening there because the people felt the need to be close to other people that they, that they dream, that they re resist in a creative way, that they follow their own path in life. And uh, we, we felt that this is the, the proper thing to do in these uh, uh, turbulent times that we were living. Mm. What is the change that all these actions uh, are producing in you, inside you? Mm. It's, uh, the Caravan Project is, is, is not just a project, it's a way to live our lives, you know, it's a, it's a way to look, to look the world and uh, uh, somehow uh, be close to the rhythm that exists around us. So wh what, is, what is going on out there is not something that we just uh, take the camera and we will look at this as scientists. It's, uh, it's, the, it's the life of a person, it's the life of a community. So we become uh, part of this, we try to become uh, part of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the life of the person that we document and we make a documentary about him or the life of a collective group. So I think that deeply influences, in, deeply influences us the stories that we live, uh, the people that we met and uh, I think that they become a part, they become parts of our extended family mm -hmm. after the time that we spent together with them and for sure we're not the same people, we're not the same persons uh, after the story and uh, also the way that the way that we make these documentaries is not is not a reportage, you know, it's, it's, it's somehow uh, it's the result of an experience, it's, it's, it's the result of a, an involvement 
of a, of a, of a profound, profound, of a, a, a meeting between uh, two worlds. So this 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 experience alters us as as persons as well. I think it's very important, especially in the second phase of our journey all over Greece, in which we are we are focused on communicating the stories that we have gathered um, by setting up to a pop-up space actually with two youth tents and uh, camping in a Greek city for a month and creating something like a, a space where we invite people to come and uh, uh, meet uh, the other world that we are trying to present through our stories. And I, I think that uh, we have realized, and I think this is very, a very dynamic feeling that we carry through, our se through the second phase of our journey, uh, we have realized the power of the stories. We have realized that stories, this kind of stories, stories that we don't hear in the, 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 the mass media, the dominant media, have the power to to awaken the soul and the heart uh, of the people. And uh, this is very important because we have realized that stories can act as catalysts for social change. They can even, um, maybe it's too big and uh, it's too much to say, but this is what we have realized through our journey and through our inter interaction with local communities and with people. Um, my personal my personal view is that uh, in in our lifetime we always search we always try to answer the question who we are where we want to go what we mm -hmm. want to do so this is the caravan project is all the time we pose the question every day we wake up and the question remains and this is what motivates us to travel, because we have this uh, creative agony within us. Who mm. we are, what, what is this world, how can we help the world? Mm. En fait, on aborde le thème du sens, du sens de la vie. Oui, c'est ça. C'est ok. <laughs> the the, the mm. meaning of, of the life. Mm. Mm. The subject. Est-ce que cette expérience que vous vivez depuis 4 ans avec d'autres, avec les gens, Change-t-elle votre regard sur le futur? Uh, I think I think it's just uh, what what it, for me at least I don't know I cannot uh, tell for everyone but uh, for me uh, the people that we met and uh, what happened in the caravan like in the five, five years now it just uh, reinforced my feeling that I had before that. Uh, you know, you have to, you have to struggle. You know, you have, is 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 a struggle. I mean, and uh, for what you believe and uh, uh, for to reach the other and to uh, a struggle to reach yourself as well. A struggle, maybe it's not the right word in English, but anyway, a fight, uh, yeah. a, a fight Lute. for yes, a lute pour quelque chose. Yes, and. Uh, uh, also, I think that uh, the people that we documented their stories, they were people that they're living in the outskirts of the society, you know, they didn't have uh, uh, the luxury to be the beneficiaries of the society. There is an inner link that co uh, connects these, these people, it's like the, the right to, you know, like to uh, not, uh, not quit from uh, uh, from the difficulties that they surround them, and to uh, oppose their their attitude, and you know, to to not to uh, not to bend and not to uh, surrender, no matter what uh, the circumstances, what the difficult circumstances around them are, and uh, to have this precious thing that I, I think is one of the most valuable things that. Uh, w we want to speak also through the, through our work, which is dignity. En quelques mots, pourquoi vous acceptez? Vous avez accepté cette interview et de nous rencontrer? Because we think that you know uh, uh, what what we do maybe has has a meaning for someone, you know, and um, uh, because we want somehow 
as Alexandra said, to spread uh, uh, the importance of a story, of, of, of a single story, of an adult story. And somehow, through, through what we do and through the people that we documented, uh, other people to uh, be inspired or to be to mobilize and uh, um, look uh, look at uh, at other persons, look for the stories from other person from a different perspective. Maybe we can contribute on that. That's why we exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs>